All right, we talked about the many colors of leaves and the hidden colors. We did one activity where we did the chromatography to break out the colors using alcohol. And now I'm going to show you Cher Cherokee leaf printing. It's actually a pounding process, it's very loud. So what you need are some leaves, of course. You need a board, or we're going to use this flat rock for pounding. Uh, you need some cotton muslin, cotton material, a flat rock, or a mallet, or a hammer, masking tape, and some paper, and possibly wax paper. So what we're going to do is basically create a little sandwich. We are going to use this board. You could use newspaper instead of paper also, but uh, we're going to use this as our wooden board. If you didn't have, if you weren't using the rock, you could use a board outside. So we're going to put some uh, paper here. We're going to put our cloth on top. We're going to place the leaves that we want to pound on our material. All right, so we have our leaves uh, placed onto our cloth. And now the next step is to, you have a choice. You can take wax paper and put, place a piece of wax paper over the top here and secure it down. Or another method is that you actually take uh, cover the entire leaf with masking tape and not use and not use the wax paper at all. So if you were to cover the entire leaf with masking tape, here's a sample here. So let's use the wax paper just for this one. I'm going to make it just a slightly smaller. I'm going to flip this over and actually start pounding on it. Or um, on this one with all the tape, then you take your flat rock. It could be a flat rock, a big one that fits in your hand like this with the flat surface. It could be a, a smaller one that might be, uh, here's a good one that's kind of round on top but flat on the bottom so it fits curved in your hand. And you're literally just going to be pounding take this paper off and you might be able to see a little bit better and I'm not going to spend the whole time doing this but you can see if you just keep doing it over and over and over again in the different spots you can get close you can get the outline of your leaf and the colors that are hidden inside and when you're finished you would peel it off and you will have the pigments uh, dyed into your fabric there. You can soak it in a vinegar solution if you want to try to set the colors. You can look up more information here. If you're taking, you would peel off the paper, the masking tape and the leaf, and then you would have your print. You can see the vein started to show right here. Let's see if we put these, this one over here. I didn't pound all these out either, I just started a little bit, but you can see the veins starting to show on here with the colors coming around. So this is Cherokee leaf printing. So here's an example, this handkerchief I made 30 years ago, I think. And this was the paper that was over the leaf, so I have not only the, paper, the impression on the paper, but I also have the impression on the handkerchief. And here we have uh, aspen leaf with that heart shape, heart shape solid on here. And I do not remember what kind these other leaves were, but I can tell you that this leaf was not brown and uh, this leaf was not red. I remember that distinctly, uh, the hidden colors that came out and surprised me.